Hi, I'm Lewis Jad, WVU Extension Horticulture Specialist, and we're at the WVU Organic Horticulture Farm here in Morgantown. And we're going to talk about trellising today. We have a large project where we're looking at trellising um, half, what we call half runner uh, beans and pole beans. And these are heritage varieties from Appalachia, mostly from West Virginia, but throughout Appalachia. But just in general, when we talk about trellising vegetable crops, we do that for crops that produce uh, sort of a long vine that, that would otherwise just lay on the ground. And so when we put them up on trellises, like we have here, we're actually making the vines grow upward. It's much easier to harvest the, in this case, the beans, but this is done also for crops like cucumbers and peas um, and other vining crops, even melons. We do melons on this, these types of trellises. So there are many different ways to trellis crops, um, including beans. And we designed these particular trellises sort of to, to uh, uh, simulate a panel that has netting on it, <clears throat> and it's eight foot by eight foot. And so we're just allowing the beans to grow at an angle um, on this, tr this uh, trellis, and it's angled 35 degrees, <clears throat> and we're, we're uh, wrangling them either north or south, um, giving our row orientation. So for these types of beans, you know, the, the, um, the plant just continually flowers and produces beans, so you have to keep harvesting it. But it's a lot of work to harvest pole beans and half-runner beans because they produce so many beans over the growing season. So we thought this particular project would be useful because we're, we're allowing the beans to sort of hang out from the vines and making it easier to come in there and harvest them. So this is our project here at WVU as a way to, to grow heritage beans, save the seed, but also making it easier to harvest them throughout the growing season. So we're seeing that <clears throat> the angling the trellis like this is working. It's gonna be much easier. We're about ready to harvest these beans within two to three days, and we're gonna be able to harvest them pretty efficiently as we go down the row. But this is just one style trellis that can be used. Uh, we can use just a single panel. This is actually a double, which is north and south, but we also have one that's just, just leaning one direction. That's another option too. But even if you don't have this style of trellising for your crops, you can just create a vertical trellis. So there are different styles of vertical trellises that can be used. And we just use regular T posts or fence posts, and we put uh, sort of a netting on it, or you can sometimes put wire and then hang strings down from it and clip your plants to the strings. But anything that gets the plants off of the ground makes it easier to harvest them, makes it easier for the bees to find the flowers that help them pollinate, and it just opens up the canopy more to sunlight so you have more yield. So we highly recommend, that if you're a gardener, that you trellis your tomatoes, um, your cucumbers, your melons if you want to, but also particularly beans and peas because these, these older varieties, these heritage varieties, produce really long runners that'll go 9, 15, 20 feet long, and they need to have something to grow on in order to harvest the crop. So you may want to um, continue to monitor our program here at uh, WVU um, and looking at how we're evaluating these trellises to see which design works the best and how efficient it is. It's an ongoing project, but we're really excited about it as a way to harvest these beans more efficiently.